Raven lines one, base hit! Tejada held up, racing for third. He's going to be waved around. The throw by Taylor to the plate is knocked away. Tejada scores. David Wright gives the Mets the lead. I'm Kyle Kestis with the MLB.com FastCast. The Mets put in some major work this Labor Day. David Wright helped to erase a late deficit for the Amazons with a go-ahead RBI single in the seventh. And the Mets never looked back. They take the opener of their crucial showdown with the Nationals, 8-5. It's a five-game lead for the Mets in the division. And the 0-2. That one is drilled deep to right center field. There it goes. See ya. With a three-run home run, and the Yankees lead 8-5. to five. Greg Bird came through in the clutch for the Yankees with a huge three-run blast to give the Bombers a lead they would not relinquish as they beat the Orioles 8-6. The Red Sox played an unlikely ally to the Yankees' efforts as they got another huge day from JBJ. Jackie Bradley Jr. went four for four, including a home run to beat the Blue Jays 11-4 and shrink Toronto's lead in the AL East to just a half game. Payoff pitch. Line drive, base hit to right field. One run is home. Here comes Chu. The throw from O'Malley is not in time. And Adrian Beltre with a two-run single puts the Rangers on top 2 nothing. Giovanni Gallardo gave the Rangers the start they needed Monday. Gallardo blanked the Mariners over five and a third innings, and Adrian Beltre supplied all the offense Texas needed to go on to the 3-0 victory. The Twins held up their end of the wild card race. Eduardo Escobar collected three hits and drove in three runs to lead Minnesota to a 6-2 victory over the Royals and keep them a game and a half behind Texas for the second wild card spot. The Cubs jumped all over Lance Lynn with six runs in two and a third innings. And then Dan Heron threw seven scoreless frames to help the Cubbies coast to a 9-0 victory over the Cardinals. But Anthony DeSclafani made sure that second place Pittsburgh would not be able to capitalize on the St. Louis loss. DeSclafani stifled the Pirates over seven and a third innings, allowing just one run as the Reds outlast the Pirates 3-1. Ryan Rayburn was single-handedly trying to keep Cleveland's wildcard hopes alive Monday afternoon. Rayburn launched both a game-tying and a go-ahead homer to beat Chris Sale in the White Sox 3-2. On a night Zach Greinke didn't have his best stuff, Scott Van Slyke was there to pick up the slack on the offensive side. Van Slyke finished 4-5 for five with four runs batted in to lead the Dodgers over the Angels 7-5. Patrick Corbin provided a giant performance for the D-backs Monday afternoon. Corbin hurled six scoreless frames on the way to a 6-1 win over San Fran. Colorado got offense from a familiar face in Nolan Arenado to gain their early lead and an unfamiliar source in pitcher Kyle Kendrick who hit his first major league homer to cap the scoring in the Rockies 6-4 victory in San Diego. The A's exploded for six runs in the sixth inning to grab the lead, and then they hung on for dear life as Houston scored seven late tallies but fell short in a 10-9 final. The Brew Crew had it going on Monday afternoon. Milwaukee pounded out 15 hits, and Zach Davies earned his first Major League victory in a 9-1 drubbing at the Marlins. Rajay Davis doubled his pleasure on Monday afternoon. Davis hit a pair of homers, including a go-ahead shot in the seventh to power the Tigers to a 5-4 win over the Rays. And finally, the Braves were sitting on a 12-game losing streak, but got off to a hot start in Philadelphia and never looked back as they trounced the Phillies 7-2. For more on Monday's stories and for all your latest MLB news, Stay with MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.